Holy crap, guys. Would you look at this? A full Mazda speed engine with the AC delete, of course, the alternator in a new spot. But doesn't that look insanely clean? Holy crap, look how much space is back there. But yeah, we are almost ready to go, guys. I gotta do a few more things to this engine bay and then we can put her in. What's up guys? Today's video, I'm actually showing you guys how to install a Mazda Speed clutch. Now this is super easy. The hard part of installing a clutch is getting the engine out of the car. As you can see, my engine is already out of the car. So that's pretty easy to install a clutch. First, you gotta put on the flywheel and it's hub centric onto the crankshaft. So it doesn't matter how you align it. Then you have to put in your clutch with your clutch alignment tool and then you can put on your pressure plate and you're done. That's pretty much it. Now I torqued my flywheel bolts down crazy tight with an impact gun. There's probably a spec on how to tighten them or how much to tighten them, I should say, but I just used the impact gun and made sure they were crazy tight. Don't wanna over tighten them, but I'm sure they're good to go. Yep, that's what I would recommend actually for those bolts. Probably like 80 foot pounds or something like that, but just use the impact if you have a nice impact and you'll be good to go. All right, flywheel time. Flywheel on. All right guys, as you can see, we have the flywheel on there bolted down all nice and tight. I didn't use any Loctite because I don't think you're really supposed to, so now we gotta put on this disc and that's pretty easy. So I've got this alignment tool that comes with it and now we basically got the alignment tool and we're just gonna stick it right up Something like that. So now the clutch is sitting there, aligned how it's supposed to be. All right guys, the clutch is on. Let's get this yellow pressure plate on. It slides in because there's some dowels. And we can bolt this baby on. All right guys, so, now that it's on there, we are gonna need to tighten the bolts, but you should have it perfectly centered, looking something like this. All right guys, so the clutch is now installed. You wanna take out this pin, and you're ready to put your transmission on. All right guys, so what we have left is I gotta do the oil drain right there. Then I gotta do a few more things on the transmission, but that looks pretty clean, don't you think? Now I did film all of the install for each individual part that I put on, including this Damon plate and all the accessories. But I'm wondering, do you guys want the next video to be all of the accessories installed at once, or do you want an in-depth install on each little accessory. If you are interested at all, whoever leaves the first comment on what they think, I'll probably go with them. But I hope you guys like today's video of me installing my ACT six puck clutch. Let me know if you guys like this clutch install and I'll catch you guys in the next video.